Okay, we're att attempting to integrate on this problem, but it's a pretty difficult looking problem where we have seven X to the six multiplied by the natural log of X. So to get going on this, we're actually gonna have to use the technique of integration by parts. So with this technique, we have to identify both a U and a DV. So the general rule that we tend to go with on this is if you have a natural log, you're gonna use that as your U. So we're gonna go natural log of X will be our U, and then everything else is going to be our DV. So in this case, we're gonna say seven X to the six DX will be our DV. All right, next we kind of go two different directions. We're gonna take a derivative of U and we're gonna take the antiderivative of this DV over here. So the derivative of U, we're gonna get one DU on this side and then natural log, its derivative is one over X with a DX on this side because we're differentiating with respect to X. All right, over on the right hand side, we have a DV. Well, that's one DV. So it's antiderivative is always gonna be just V. And then the antiderivative of seven X to the six, we'll bring the seven along initially. We'll then increase the exponent by one and divide by that new exponent. Well, this works out being V is just one X to the seventh with just a little bit of reducing down. All right, now over to our integration by parts formula. We wanna plug in our U, which we define to be the natural log of X, multiplied by the V that we integrated to find was X to the seventh, minus the integral, uh, we're gonna plug in V, which was X to the seventh, and then DU, which was one over X DX from our formula over on the left-hand side. All right, from here, we tend to write the X to the seventh out in front, but it doesn't really need to go out that direction. So I'm just copying down that first part. And then this integral, what we're gonna do is simplify down first. We have X to the seventh, that's in the numerator, and we have one copy of X in the denominator. Let's just go ahead and make that X to the sixth as we reduce down. Um, and now we still need to integrate this. So bringing that first part along, subtracting, we're gonna integrate by increasing the exponent by one and dividing by our new exponent. And then at the end, because this is an indefinite integral, we wanna include a plus C. Um, and each step of the way we have, you know, these are all equal to our initial integral. All right, so that's integration by parts on this one. Um, remember, as you're picking out the, your U and your DV at the beginning, um, if you have a natural log, make that uh, the U part and then make everything else the DV. If you don't, uh, use the algebraic expression as being your U. Um, and if you have like E to a power, um, save that, make that the DV whenever possible. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck, integration by parts isn't horrible, but it takes a whole lot of practice to get really comfortable with it. All right, good luck.